Hey, what's up guys? It's been a long time since I've uh, posted a haul video, so I figured it was time to do that because I think the last time I posted one was maybe in May or April. Um, and I haven't even really been on YouTube much since then, just a couple of times, and I really miss the VC, but life has just been absolutely insanely crazy busy. And it's going to continue to be for a while, so I might not be as active as I really would like to, uh, to, like to be, but I at least wanted to to get on quick and show you guys some of the stuff I picked up since, well, since May. Uh, in May, I went to LA to um, meet my new nephew. And when I was out there, I, I picked up quite a few records, actually, because LA has a great number of stores. I found some really excellent stuff. And then I took a trip down to New York City um, back in August. And I was in Brooklyn and went to a few new record shops and picked up some stuff down there as well. Plus. I'm always pre-ordering uh, some of the stuff that I love best and uh, the artists I love best, all their new releases and everything. So I do have quite a few records to show you guys. I'm not going to go into any detail. Um, I'm just going to show you the cover quick and just say what I've gotten because otherwise I'd be here for hours showing you guys all this stuff. So I'm going to start with the 7 inches and make it quick. Um, this actually is... Uh, not even mine, it's my wife's. This is a flexi disc from a Canadian uh, punk band uh, called Mobina Galore. Um, so she picked this up, but I just figured I'd show it since it's going in our collection. Um, this is uh, a seven inch that was put out um, for uh, Lady Fest in the UK, but it's got great stuff on it. Gossip, Sarah Dorr, Bangs, you know, some really excellent 90s bands from the Pacific Northwest. So, got this. These were all handmade covers. They were all a little bit different. Um, so, it was pretty cool. This one's 260 out of 500 made. Um, in LA, I picked up something from my childhood, but actually it was pretty cool because it's in Spanish. Um, I got the uh, Disney Pete's Dragon soundtrack, the 45, with the little book that's included, but I've never seen it in a different language before, so I had to pick this one up. Also in LA, I got this picture disc for Disney, It's a Small World. Apparently it was a misprint because it was supposed to be different pictures um, on on each side, but, uh, but it ended up being the same print on each side, so it's pretty cool. It was without the cover, but that's okay. I also got another Mecha Normal 7 inch. I got a Mira 7 inch. Uh, Carpenters. Kind of can't go wrong. Please, Mr. Postman. Always got to pick up the Carpenters when you see it. Uh, Screaming Females 7 inch, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then I ordered a bunch of stuff from the Thermals, because the Thermals uh, actually disbanded recently, well, over the past few months. Uh, I was pretty sad about that, so I ordered um, some 7 inches online from them. And so I got this one. I got this one. This one. This one. And uh, I got some stuff from uh, the members of the band. So I got this uh, Hela and Seasonal Needs. Um, and I got this one, um, which was uh, Dance and Burn. And then uh, I actually ordered some stuff from, every time I order stuff from Kill Rockstars, I also get some free stuff in there. But when I ordered, um, pre-ordered, the albums, uh, the, the new Wimps album. I ordered two different versions of it, and uh, Ben from Kill Rockstars, he's awesome. He threw in all kinds of great stuff. So one of the things was this um, Rockstars Kill 7-inch that went in a in actually the compilation. My compilation was missing the 7-inch, so it was perfect because now I have the piece to complete it. Um, down in New York, I also found um, this. It's M Emily Sassy Lime. Uh, it's a 7 inch and it came, actually, it still had uh, the sticker and a uh, pin in with the record, so that was pretty cool. And it has all the inserts too. Um, and this is from, uh, if you play video games, I don't really play video games at all, um, but this is a Mondo release for the uh, video game The Last of Us Part 2. Um, but even though I don't love video games. I don't really play them. Um, I do, 
uh, really love Ashley Johnson and uh, and so I went ahead and got this I'm hoping that I can play the game uh, this came on black and blue marbled vinyl and it's in a gatefold 7 inch so that's pretty cool and then also out on Kill Rock Stars this year they re-released um, uh, these monsters are real from Heavens to Betsy, and they released it on red vinyl. So I picked up the reissue of this. I do have an original, but it was nice to get the reissue. So that's it for seven inches. Um, next, I'll show you the one ten inch I got. Um, it's it's a compilation. It's called Red Hot and Bothered Part Two: The Indie Rock Guide to Dating. It comes with um, a pretty large zine with all kinds of information in it. Um, and the reason I got this is because it has built a spill and Cradle Robbers, which was actually another kind of one-off band that Lois Maffeo did. Um, so I was really excited to find this. I found this when I was down in New York. Uh, I haven't seen it in the wild, so I was pretty psyched to get this one. So and it's in pretty decent shape, so I got that. And we'll move on to the 12 inches. Um, this is another one that Ben from Kill Rockstar sent me. This is a uh, Stars Kill Rock compilation. Uh, it doesn't have the cover, but it's cool to have the record because I didn't have this in my collection. So I got that. And then I've got the two, two different versions of the new Wimps album, Garbage People. Um, I have one that's on translucent green, and one is the indie exclusive purple. Um, you know, I'm a completist, so uh, I went ahead and got both of these. Great new album. And uh, Ben was super kind because one of my orders got lost in the mail. And he sent me, um, is part of all the fun stuff that he sent me before, um, a signed test pressing of the Wimps album. So that was pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> I was really excited to get that. So thank you again for that, Ben. And actually, I'll show you a quick screenshot of all the awesome stuff he sent me. So lots of great stuff from Kill Rock Stars. Super cool. Um, Bikini Kill, the singles. Um, they took the, the three seven inches that they had their singles on and they reissued them on a 12 inch uh, record just uh, I think last month actually, or yeah, last month. So I was excited to get this one in the mail and that is one of my favorite logos. I really want to get a tattoo of that someday. It's just too cool. I love that record player. Another great new album is Mitski Be the Cowboy. This is her newest release. It is stunning and beautiful as always. Mitski is a fantastic performer. This one came on a uh, translucent mint green vinyl. I love Sufjan Stevens. So when they announced that this was going to be pressed on the vinyl for the first time, I went ahead and got it. This is uh, the Avalanche. It's outtakes and extras from the Illinois album. Um, and this one is, uh, on, it's a double LP and it's on, uh, I think it's called Snow or Avalanche White and uh, Pickup Truck Orange. So it has, each vinyl is, is a different color. So that was a great one to get. This is a new artist, um, Tomberlin. I listened to this album and immediately ordered this album. <laughs> well, I mean... I immediately ordered this record uh, because it's just beautiful, beautiful, quiet, guitar-driven indie music. Really stunning. I really love this. This one came also on a translucent green vinyl, so this is a great one. If you like indie music, you should definitely check this one out, Tom Berlin at Weddings. Um, one of the movies that I, I saw, I had to see over the past couple of months was um, Hearts Beat Loud. I actually saw it, I think, back in July. Um, I, I really wanted to see it because it's about a dad who owns a record store, his daughter is going off to college and he starts making music with her. It's, it's a really great little film. It was set in the Red Hook area of uh, Brooklyn and um, I, the music is fantastic from it actually. So um, I ended up getting the orange indie exclusive copy of the soundtrack. And I also got the limited edition signed one, which is signed by the stars, Nick Offerman and Kiersey Clemens. So great little film. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's, it's a pretty good one. It's got a lot of great insider music references, especially if you're familiar with indie music. Um, I thought it was a great little film, terrific cast, terrific music. Um, so check it out if, if that's kind of your thing. So, um, so some 80s stuff that I picked up. This is a promo copy of the 16 Candles soundtrack. So got that one. 
And this is just, you know, a childhood thing. New Kids on the Block. What can I say? It's just nostalgia. So this is um, Right Stuff single. Uh, this one I picked up sealed. This is the soundtrack for About Last Night. Another great 80s film. And then a uh, new album that just came out uh, in the past few months, which I've loved. And then finally, just got this in the mail a couple of days ago. Um, and I have another version coming. It's Janelle Monae's new album, um, Dirty Computer. And this one is a lenticular cover. So you can see it changes back and forth. So it's pretty awesome. This one is a double LP on uh, yellow vinyl, translucent yellow vinyl. So it's pretty cool. I have one from Urban Outfitters coming that is on pink vinyl. Um, <clears throat> I was really excited about this reissue. This is Salvia Pelt and um, it's Melancholy. This is a uh, by an artist who, Daniel Johan, he's a New Zealand artist, and he put out this album several years ago, and they just, um, it's very hard to find on vinyl and very expensive if you do see it. So they re-released it, and uh, it's it sounds great, and it's on sort of a starburst um, blue and gray vinyl, so it's really, really beautiful. Another new artist that I have been into this year is an artist called named Petal, um, or called Petal. She, uh, she does some really beautiful music. I just, again, it's indie music. I really enjoyed this. Um, and it comes on tricolor vinyl. It's, um, actually these two colors and white in the center. So it's pretty nice. I was excited to get this one. Uh, one of my favorite bands is, um, the band Stars. They're a Canadian band and they re re reissued, um, one of their earlier albums, uh, Heart on Vinyl, and this one came on a transluc translucent uh, light blue. So that was a good one. Uh, another band from the, uh, the Pacific Northwest back in the 90s, really popular, was Dear Nora. And um, she actually started putting out uh, music again. So this is the first recording, uh, first album that she's had out in a long time. So I was really happy to to get this one. She's been touring a lot, but I just haven't been able to, to catch her. Uh, Courtney Barnett. This is a great album. I was never a big fan of Courtney Barnett until, uh, until I started hearing songs from this record. So when I was in LA, they had a copy of it. I picked it up. It's on red uh, vinyl and it is really excellent. This is, this is the album that actually helped me get into Courtney Barnett. I wasn't always a huge fan of her vocal styling, but um, but this album, I really, really enjoy. Uh, picked up an old Patti Smith one, Dream of Life. So can't go wrong getting some Patti Smith. I uh, picked up some um, hip hop 12-inch uh, records. Um, this one is uh, Most Deaf, so I got that one, and I picked up this Most Deaf one, and one more. Most Deaf is probably one of my favorite uh, rapper hip hop artists, so I wanted to get a few different singles, and they have a really great selection of rap and hip hop out in LA, um, which I just cannot find here in the Northeast. Um, next, I got um, I found this Y Oak album, Tween, and I picked that one up in LA as well. And I also got the soundtrack for the movie Children of a Lesser God, which is a great film. Um, Marley Matlin and uh, William Hurt, if you haven't seen it, it's a great old film. I really enjoy it. Um, so, got this one. Also in LA, I picked up um, this really cool reissue of, um, well, it's not really a reissue. It's sort of a compilation that Kicking Giant put out um, of, of all this stuff from back in the 90s, actually 89 through 93. So I picked that up. It's beautiful, gatefold, really nicely done packaging. Excellent album. Uh, I've really been enjoying listening to this one. So it was a good find. Um, I got a, another copy of Rockstar's Kill because mine was pretty, pretty beat up and this one is in much nicer condition. And now I've got the uh, seven inch two that it was missing to go in that, so that's great. Another movie that I saw, um, actually, 
was it last year? I can't even remember. Lady Bird. This is a great little film. Actually, I think it was from last year. Um, and uh, this one was put out on Lakeshore Records, and uh, the soundtrack is on white vinyl. So I got, grabbed that when I was in LA. Uh, this one is really cool. <clears throat> the film Wonderstruck. Uh, I really enjoyed this film. And this is a neat one. I wasn't going to take any out, but I think I will take this one out because it's, it's just too good. Um, it has, it opens up, this one again was, this one was put out on Lakeshore Records as well. Um, they did a really beautiful job at the packaging um, since it centers around a museum. Um, and half of it is uh, from in black and white in silent. Um, so they have that sort of display from the museum on that side and then the rest of it was in the 70s in color so from that side and it does come with um with different things that scenes that you can put in through here and cardboard cutouts of the um the two main characters so really cool um and it's on marble colored vinyl so it was a really great find really interesting i really like the packaging and what they did with this one i thought that was really excellent uh, here's another album from that Canadian heart, uh, punk band, Mo Movino Galore. Uh, again, this one is one that my wife got. It's on splatter vinyl. And Natalie Prass put out her new album this year. Really excellent. Um, the Future in the Past. Love this one. This is on red vinyl. Um, they actually did have another color. I can't remember what it was. Um, but I ended up going choosing the red one because I thought it was pretty, pretty nice looking sharp record and well, probably one of my favorite albums so far this year is Nico Case, Hell On. Um, this is an incredibly gorgeous album. Nico is amazing. Anything she does is fantastic but this album especially is just so beautiful. Um, it's on brown colored vinyl, <laughs> double album. Uh, Nico is wonderful. If you haven't listened to her music you really should check it out and if you want to start somewhere you could start with this album i think it's it's great it's got a lot of great collaborators on it um yeah just give her a listen if you if you haven't heard her music she's fantastic um this is an album by a canadian band from kingston ontario which is uh close to my heart and uh the band is called de trois and they put out their new uh record health so I picked that up and it is on blue vinyl. Also in LA, I picked up another Mira record. This one is really cool because on one side, it, the record is etched and it has like record players and tape players and music notes and guitars and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. And I also got um, a, another Yo-Yo uh, Studio uh, compilation. This one is Throw. This has Kicking Giant, Bikini Kill, Unwound, Mecha Normal, uh, some Velvet Sidewalk, Super Chunk, uh, Heavens to Betsy, Canaan's, really good stuff on here from the 90s. So this was, I've been looking for this one for a really long time and I walked into Amoeba Records and there it was on the wall. So pretty cool. And last but certainly not least, um, I love Imogen Heap and I loved her band Fru Fru and they finally put out um, the album details on vinyl and this one is on 180 gram um i got it out of amoeba and i have to tell you when i picked it up i thought i was getting the limited edition red one and then i got it home and realized it, it's just 180 gram black um and i was gonna return it but they were out of the red ones and they're really hard to find because it's again it's it's a uk thing so they were already be hard to find over here anyway and very limited so I just stuck with the 180 gram um, because it's going to be a nice nice audiophile pressing and I really really love this album didn't want to take a chance that I wasn't going to get one so so that's it um, those are all my records so as you can see I have been buying a lot um, but a lot of these albums are, are used and I got great deals on them down in LA I found um, actually the prices to be really pretty reasonable. There were a couple of record shops that I went into and the prices were so outrageous. It was like, you know, there were records that were like marked 30 or $40 for something I've seen in the dollar bins in the Northeast. So there were some that were really outrageous, but uh, luckily I found some really good, good record places out there and uh, 
picked up a lot of stuff. Um, also down in Brooklyn, found some some great stuff. So very happy with uh, everything I've gotten. I'm hoping to uh, to try to do these these videos more often. Um, I don't unless I go travel somewhere. I'm not buying a lot. I'm just mostly you know any pre-orders for for artists that I absolutely love. So I might not have very much to show, but that's better because then I can actually show you the records and talk about them a little bit more instead of just uh, going through them really fast. But anyway, I just wanted to get those on a video and show you guys and do a haul video so that I can catch up and hopefully be a little bit better going forward. Things have been crazy busy, but I really miss interacting with all you guys in the VC and uh, I'm really gonna try to set aside a little bit more time to to watch your videos too because um, you know, I'd love to see what you guys are listening to and getting into right now. So uh, anyway, that's it from me and hopefully I'll have another video for you soon. I am going on a trip pretty soon to Canada and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can pick up a few new records. So.